and welcome to Fusion 360. My name is Ed Robledo, and I'm here to tell you all about the new and improved capabilities added to Fusion 360 Electronics. Let's dive right into it and begin with the library editor. For the library, we've improved the user interface to enhance your component creating experience. You'll notice that there are further details about the footprint, the package, and if a 3D model has been mapped. In addition, better messaging has been added when assigning footprints to a device. Components that don't qualify will now have a yellow triangle and a tooltip providing details of the offense. No more guessing why you can't use a particular footprint in your device. Let's stay with the device editor. There's been some additional UI improvements. That way you can quickly identify the commands to assign or remove a SPICE model to a device. SPICE is an electronic schematic simulation and modeling program in Fusion 360 that helps you to predict the behaviors of your electronic circuits. Assigning a model to your components is an action that could be performed in the library editor or directly in the schematic editor as well. Let's remain in the library, but this time I'm going to move over to the package generator. As you know, the package generator includes an IPC compliant component generator and some non-IPC compliant templates, which will easily build your footprint and 3D model in the exact same step. In this update, we've added the option to modify that footprint pad size without disturbing the 3D model and IPC values. A reason for changing the pad size could be adjusting the size, that way you could better hand solder the components without compromising the IPC entered original values. This option will extend the use of the package calculator. In the PCB editor, our team of developers have added a new feature which will improve the placement of non-plated holes on your PCB. After pushing your PCB to that 3D PCB, you're going to notice that the holes now appear on the timeline. By editing the hole feature, you can parametrically fine tune the hole placement by using the new reference options. In addition to this, holes can be placed directly on the PCB editor. Remember, changes done in the 3D PCB editor will synchronize with the PCB layout editor. As you might remember, the polygon pouring feature was fully revamped in an early update of Fusion 360 making them easier to use and more efficient for post-processing. Resizing a polygon can be as easy as selecting a segment and dragging it. We did receive reports from our valued users stating that moving complete polygons was not working as expected. This feature has been fixed and provides you the capability of fine-tuning complete polygon placement when changes have been performed to the board. I'll finish our news with a feature that has been frequently requested. As you know, adding detailed documentation to your schematic and circuit board is quite important. At the moment, you were limited to three fonts for documentation, but only one of them was used for post-processing. In our last update, we added Gerber output support for all of them. In this update, Fusion 360 Electronic Editor now supports all of your installed TrueType fonts. No more importing bitmap files to have different fonts on your design. I'm really looking forward to some creative schematic and circuit boards, but wait, there's more. Not only does the schematic and the PCB editor support true time fonts, post processing Gerber output supports it as well. This includes, but not limited to symbol fonts as well. This new feature, you'll be able to improve manufacturing details that need to be on the board. Notice that the exported Gerber files match the manufacturing preview in Fusion 360 Electronics. Join our very active Fusion 360 Electronics forum. Here, you can learn more about this update and other related topics. On the video description, I'll include a link to the Fusion 360 What's New blog and to the forum. Please remember to subscribe and press the bell icon to be notified when new videos have become available. Thank you for joining us and all this and more with Fusion 360.